Whenever you were in court, did you ever say to somebody, listen, lips moving, still talking, or moron? <laughs> or is that only for the telly? <laughs> well, the word moron I don't use anymore after someone wrote to me, and I hadn't realised. And it was really good learning, and I never mind being corrected. Somebody tells me, right, they go, this is the root of that word, and um, actually it's offensive for this reason. And what's more, this is how it makes, makes me feel. I was like, yeah, that's a really good argument. So actually, I haven't used that word um, oh, right. recently. Okay. Yeah. Um, and I was really, you know, when, when somebody articulates it in that way, mm -hmm. it doesn't, not with anger, but really has the capacity calmly to express why it matters that you don't. I was like, oh, gosh, I, I really need to be yeah. mindful of that. Right, right. I didn't do that in court, but I did do that with all of my clients, Helen. You know, what <laughs> you see is not, you know, is what you get. It didn't matter to me and it still doesn't. I'm not impressed by you having a PhD and thinking deeply about pondering homes by Herodotus. Are you kind? Are you, do you have common sense? Are you decent? And that's, it matters to me what people do more than um, a, a, anything else. But what you see in court is not dissimilar from the way I would speak to my clients, be it somebody who was a legal aid client who um, was there with his mum or a Russian oligarch with billions of pounds. Um, I would be perfectly known to say, uh, Mr. I don't know, oligarch ski, you're talking rubbish. I don't want to hear any more from you. I'm going outside and I shall come back and you shall talk some sense. In other words, I'm just calling it like it is. It's, yeah.